Darkness, the three days. Word given January 26, 2022 by Lynn Johnson. Transcript. Your King Yeshua would like his beloved children to know, to understand that soon much will happen. The judgments will progress through to the last one, the three days of darkness. You, my believers, must be prepared for this judgment. There will be two days of aurora borealis in the skies all over the earth. There will be many colors, but the predominant one will be the reddish-orange color. When you see this happening, you must go and prepare your homes. All windows must be locked. Locked, not just closed. You must cover all your windows, even if you have blinds with dark sheets or black garbage bags. Cut them open to use and tape with strong tape to the walls or window sills. This is in order to prevent you and your families from that which will be outside from seeing faces pressed against your windows. Although the darkness that will come at noon time on the second day of the Aurora Borealis will be impossible for humans to see more than a few inches with light, you would be able to see the faces of evil. This is done to frighten you. Cover your windows and any place where light would normally be seen, all of them. You must prepare coolers with food for the three days of darkness. You are to get all those who will stay with you over to your house the night before, as you cannot chance that they would make it in time before 12 noon on the second day. All doors and windows must be locked with all windows, as I am has stated, completely covered. You must not, when you see the darkness descend at noon, open your doors again until three days have passed, 72 hours from the time that the darkness descends at noon, a full three days. You must not open your doors even one minute before the 72 hours is passed. You will need a wind-up clock as your battery-operated clocks will not work during this time. You will hear voices, scream, shout, curses, and such. You will hear the voices of loved ones who live near or are elsewhere. Do not believe the voices who will beg you to let them in. Understand that no human is able to see in this darkness. No human can see or move in this darkness. It will be impossible to do so. Only demonic entities, fallen ones, and my angels will be able to see and move about in this darkness. My angels will protect my believers' homes from forced entry. In other words, as long as your doors and windows are locked, the evil ones will not be allowed to force their way in. My angels will not attempt to enter your homes. They will be stationed outside, as your King Yeshua has said, to prevent any forced entry. Should any of your windows or doors and such be unlocked, the evil ones will come in. They cannot harm believers, but will harm any unbelievers in your home. Make sure that all your entrance points to your homes are locked. All children must be monitored at all times. They must not open any doors or windows, as they may try to help because of the voices. All of the people in your home must stay together in one room, such as your living room. I am will keep your homes at 60 Fahrenheit for the 72 hours. Have appropriate clothing, blankets, mattresses to lay on. You must take turns in sleeping so that no one goes near a window or door to open them. No unbeliever can be left by themselves to watch over those sleeping, for they will be easily beguiled by voices if left alone. You need to pray to me for peace for all to be able to stay away from the doors and windows, for calmness and peace of children and unbelievers. And it will be granted to all who pray to me. My warriors of faith will have power in their refrigerators and freezers only. No other power will be in other believers' homes or any homes. You will need smokeless candles, oil lamps, and food so that you can hold to eat in your hands. Sandwiches and such to keep in your coolers. Understand, my children, that no human will be able to see in this darkness in order to move about. No human. Therefore, any voice that you hear, 
is a demonic one imitating a human. Yes, they know who to imitate, so do not be deceived. This is the time that the gates of hell are opened and the demons are released upon the earth. They will be intent on one thing and one thing only, to kill as many humans as possible. They cannot touch my believers as long as you remain in your homes with all doors and windows locked and that no one in your home opens any or unlocks any. You must pray that this does not happen for the voices by the demonic entities will be very compelling. Remember that my angels will protect my believers from any forced entry by the demonic entities. Remember my angels will not ask to come in. They are to remain outside for your protection. Under no circumstances are you to open your doors or windows before the 72 hours are up. Not even a minute before. So ensure that you wait past the 72 hours to be sure. I, your King Yeshua and Father Yahweh, will come and visit each person in their homes. No one will know that we are speaking with you. This will be the last chance for many to accept salvation before the great harvest of souls. We will speak to all in private, as I am has said. Others around you will not be aware of our conversations. Any believers caught outside must get in a car which they can lock and stay there without unlocking the doors or windows for the 72 hours. If you do not get into a vehicle and lock your doors or windows, you will be harmed. You must pray for my protection should this happen and you end up in a car. My children, the darkness will be able to be felt. It will be oppressive and heavy. You will not be able to see more than an inch or two from your face, even with light from your candles, oil lamps, and such. Remember the evil entities outside only want one thing, and that is to destroy as many humans as possible. Do not be deceived by them, by their ability to imitate voices of people that you know. Remember, absolutely no human will be able to see or to move around in the darkness, let alone make it to your home to ask for help to get into your house. It is impossible for any human to do so. Do not be deceived. My children, be wise. Heed my words of warning here. Come to me directly with your questions and for your understanding and clarity on this word. It is most important that you do so. Be prepared, my children, for this last judgment. Your King Yeshua, your Redeemer, your Messiah and Bridegroom, Jesus Christ. Scriptures to go with this message will be pinned in the comment section. Thank you, God bless you, and Shalom.